Okay, so in this example, we're going to have to use our knowledge of trig functions in order to solve this problem. Now, the word problem says, find the length of the shadow cast by a 10-foot lamppost. And then it says, the angle of elevation of the sun is pi over 3. So what we want to do is start off by drawing a picture, and we're going to do this by drawing in a triangle. Now, this is going to be our lamppost, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect, right? You're just doing it by hand. So here's our lamppost. Okay, our sun is going to be up here. Okay, and now here's going to be the shadow being cast by the lamppost, All right? And then we can finish this off by drawing in the rest of our triangle like this, right? So you can kind of just picture this extending to the sun. So our angle of elevation of the sun is pi over 3, and that's given to us in radians. So this angle right here is going to be pi over 3. Okay? We know that our lamppost is 10 feet. So we can just write 10 feet here. Alright, and now we have to use our knowledge of trig functions to solve this problem. Now think about tangent of an angle. Tangent of an angle is going to be opposite over adjacent. So tangent of an angle is going to be opposite over adjacent. Okay? So looking at our picture here, we can kind of fill in our values. Here we're going to have tangent pi over 3 equal to our opposite, which is 10. And adjacent, that's what we're trying to find here, right? This adjacent length, that's going to be the length of the shadow cast by the lamp. So we're just going to say x here. So we're trying to solve for x. Now go back to the unit circle at pi over 3 you're going to have the following values. You have a half, and then the square root of 3, all over 2. Again, this is x, y. We know that tangent is y over x. Right? So we can replace what tangent of pi over 3 is going to be. It's going to be y over x, or in other words, the square root of 3, all over 2, over a half, equal to 10 over x. So we don't even need a calculator for this. We can actually solve this just by cross multiplying. So by cross multiplying here, I'm gonna get x square root of three all over two equal to, and a half times 10 is five. And then just continuing on, we're gonna multiply both sides by two here, right? So this cancels, again, we're multiplying here. So we get x square root of three equal to 10. Our last step is gonna be divide both sides by the square root of three and you get x is equal to 10 over the square root of 3. Now, you're not done yet because you don't want to leave square roots in the denominator. We need to rationalize it. So this is very simple. We simply just multiply the denominator and numerator by the square root. So in this case, the square root of 3. All right? And our final answer is going to be the following. We're going to get x is equal to 10 square root of 3 all over 3. And this is going to be in feet. Okay? So this here is our final answer. So that's going to be the length of the shadow cast by the lamppost. Okay, and that is it.